Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Pastel de nada, these iconic Portuguese custard tarts are a must try. They consist of a flaky pastry crust filled with a creamy egg custard and sprinkled with cinnamon and powdered sugar. Pastel de nada is a beloved Portuguese pastry that is famous both in Portugal and internationally. These custard tarts have a flaky pastry crust and a creamy egg custard filling. Here's more information about pastel de nada. The pastry dough used for pastel de nada is called masa falhada, which is similar to puff pastry. It is made by folding layers of butter and dough to create a light and flaky texture. The custard filling is made from a mixture of eggs, sugar, milk, and sometimes a touch of vanilla or lemon zest. The filling is creamy and slightly sweet, with a silky smooth texture. The tarts are baked at high temperatures, which gives the custard a caramelized top, often with slightly burnt spots. This caramelization adds a delicious depth of flavor to the pastries. Pastel de nada are typically served warm, dusted with powdered sugar and cinnamon. They are best enjoyed fresh out of the oven when the crust is still crispy and the custard is warm and gooey. These custard tarts are a popular street food option in Portugal and can be found in bakeries, pastry shops, and even specialized pastel de nada cafes. The most famous place to try pastel de nada is in Belém, a neighborhood in Lisbon. The pastries are often referred to as pastias de Belém when they are made in this area. The Pastias de Belém Bakery, founded in 1837, is renowned for its authentic and delicious pastel de nada. Pastel de nada has gained worldwide popularity, and you can find them in many Portuguese communities and bakeries around the globe. When visiting Portugal, trying a freshly baked pastel de nada is a must-do. It's a delightful treat that showcases the rich pastry tradition of the country and is sure to satisfy any sweet tooth. Francisinha, originating from Porto, the Francisinha is a hearty sandwich made with layers of bread, cured meats, such as ham, steak, and sausage, and melted cheese. It is topped with a rich tomato and beer sauce and typically served with French fries. Francisinha is a unique and hearty Portuguese sandwich that originated in Porto, Portugal. It is a delicious and indulgent dish that combines layers of bread, cured meats, and melted cheese, all smothered in a rich tomato and beer sauce. Here's more information about Francisinha. The base of a Francisinha sandwich typically consists of several layers of bread, usually thick slices of white bread or a bread roll. The bread acts as a foundation for the layers of ingredients that follow. Between the bread layers, you'll find a variety of cured meats such as ham, steak, and sausage. The meats are usually layered generously to create a filling and flavorful sandwich. Melted cheese is a key component of Francisinha. Typically, slices of cheese, such as Gouda or a local Portuguese cheese called queijo de serra, are added on top of the meat layers. The cheese melts and creates a gooey and delicious layer. The defining feature of Francisinha is the sauce. The sandwich is covered with a rich tomato and beer sauce, often spiked with spices and sometimes a hint of piri piri or other hot sauces for a spicy kick. The sauce is poured generously over the entire sandwich, soaking into the bread and infusing the flavors of the ingredients. Francisinha is usually served with a side of French fries, which complement the sandwich and provide a satisfying crunch. It's worth noting that Francisinha is a substantial and filling dish. Often considered a complete meal on its own due to its size and richness, Francisinha can be found in many traditional Portuguese restaurants and specialty eateries, particularly in Porto. Each restaurant may have its own variations and secret recipes for the sauce, adding to the uniqueness of the dish. Churco acidu. Churco acidu refers to grilled or roasted Portuguese chorizo sausages. 
They are typically served on a slice of bread or in a roll and enjoyed as a flavorful street food snack. Churukal asadu, also known as grilled or roasted churuco, is a popular Portuguese street food that features churuco sausages cooked over an open flame or on a grill. Churuco is a smoked and cured pork sausage that is seasoned with garlic, paprika, and other spices. Here's more information about churuco acidu. Churuco is made from coarsely ground pork meat, typically mixed with fat, salt, and a variety of spices. The most distinctive spice in churuco is paprika, which gives it a rich red color and a smoky flavor. To prepare churuco acidu, the sausages are usually skewered or placed directly on a grill or over an open flame. The heat causes the fat to render and the sausage to become cooked and slightly crispy on the outside. As the churuco cooks, it releases its flavorful juices, creating a smoky and aromatic experience. The natural oils and spices in the sausage infuse the meat, resulting in a delicious and savory taste. Churuco acidu is often served simply on a slice of bread or in a roll, allowing the smoky flavors of the sausage to take center stage. The bread helps to soak up the flavorful juices and adds a textural contrast. This street food delicacy is commonly enjoyed at festivals, fairs, and outdoor gatherings in Portugal. The enticing aroma of grilled churuco wafting through the air is a familiar sight and draws people in to savor its delicious flavors. Churuco acidu is a versatile dish and can be enjoyed in different ways. Some variations include serving it with grilled peppers, onions, or roasted potatoes, which complement the smoky and savory flavors of the sausage. Whether you're exploring the streets of Lisbon, Porto, or any other region in Portugal, you're likely to come across churuco acidu being grilled at local food stalls or street vendors. It's a flavorful and satisfying street food option that represents the rich culinary heritage of Portugal. Bolinhos de Bacalhau, these are codfish fritters made from salted cod, potatoes, eggs, and herbs. The mixture is shaped into small balls and deep-fried until crispy. They are commonly served with a side of spicy mayo. Bolinhos de Bacalhau, also known as codfish fritters or salted codfish cakes, are a popular street food and appetizer in Portugal. These savory fritters are made from a mixture of salted codfish, mashed potatoes, onions, herbs, and spices. Here's more information about Bolinhos de Bacalhau. The main ingredient in Bolinhos de Bacalhau is Bacalhau, which refers to salted codfish. Bacalhau is an integral part of Portuguese cuisine and is used in various dishes. The salted codfish needs to be soaked in water to remove the excess salt and rehydrate it before using it in the fritter mixture. The soaked and flaked bacalhau is combined with mashed potatoes, onions, garlic, and a variety of herbs and spices such as parsley, cilantro, and black pepper. The mixture is then shaped into small balls or patties. The fritters are typically deep fried until golden brown and crispy on the outside while remaining moist and flavorful on the inside. The frying process gives them a delightful texture and a delicious aroma. Bolinhos de Bacalhau are often served as an appetizer or a snack. They can be enjoyed on their own or served with a dipping sauce, such as aioli or a spicy piri-piri sauce, to enhance the flavors. These fritters are a popular street food in Portugal, commonly found in food markets, festivals, and traditional taverns. They are a tasty and satisfying option for those seeking a savory bite while exploring the streets of Portugal. Bolinhos de Bacalhau are not only enjoyed by locals but have also gained international recognition. They have become a symbol of Portuguese cuisine and are loved by food enthusiasts around the world. When in Portugal, don't miss the opportunity to try Bolinhos de Bacalhau. They offer a wonderful blend of flavors and textures, with the salted codfish adding a unique and savory element to these delightful fritters. 
Sardinhas Asadas, grilled sardines are a traditional Portuguese street food, especially popular during the summertime. Fresh sardines are seasoned with salt, grilled until tender, and served with a squeeze of lemon. Sardinhas Asadas, or grilled sardines, are a traditional and iconic Portuguese street food. This popular dish is especially popular during the summertime when sardines are in season. Here's more information about sardinhas acidas. Sardinhas acidas are made using fresh sardines, which are typically sourced from the Atlantic Ocean. The sardines are cleaned, gutted, and then seasoned with salt before grilling. The sardines are traditionally grilled over hot charcoal, which imparts a smoky flavor to the fish. The heat from the grill quickly cooks the sardines, resulting in a crispy skin and tender, juicy flesh. The grilling process is relatively quick, usually taking just a few minutes on each side. This ensures that the sardines are cooked to perfection while maintaining their natural flavors and textures. Sardinhas acidas are often served on a slice of bread or a bed of roasted peppers. The simple presentation allows the natural flavors of the sardines to shine. The dish is typically accompanied by a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, which adds a tangy and refreshing element that complements the richness of the fish. Sardinhas acidas are a symbol of Portuguese cuisine and a beloved part of the country's culinary traditions. They are especially popular during festivals and celebrations, such as the Festas de Lisboa, where grilled sardines are a centerpiece of the festivities. In Portugal, you can find sardinhas acidas at street food stalls, seafood restaurants, and outdoor markets. They are often enjoyed with a glass of chilled Vinho Verde, a light and refreshing Portuguese wine. Trying sardinhas acidas is a must when visiting Portugal, particularly during the summer months when sardines are at their peak. It's a flavorful and authentic street food experience that showcases the country's love for seafood and its vibrant culinary culture.